Since we're all going to be online for a while, you might be wondering, how am I going to model communication for my students? One way to do that is to use Chat Editor. Chat Editor is an editing software for touch chat. You can create page sets and transfer them onto a touch chat, chat fusion, or Nova chat device. But you can also project chat editor onto an interactive whiteboard for modeling or share your screen during a web meeting for modeling. First, you will need to go to the touch chat website and download chat editor and then follow the instructions to install. If your district has a lot of security on their computers, you may need to get your IT department to help you with this. Once you download Chat Editor, you will have two files on your desktop, Chat Editor and Chat Editor Import Folder. First, select Chat Editor to open. It's going to ask you what product you're supporting. If you're using Touch Chat, select Touch Chat and then select OK. Then select your language and select OK. For the symbol set, select Symbol Sticks and select OK. Noticing a theme here? For additional vocabularies, select Word Power. It's going to ask you to name a configuration. Just call it Touch Chat. For the moment, speech will be disabled. We'll get to that later. Next, you're going to want to import your students' pages into Chat Editor. To do that, we're going to use Dropbox. If you want to learn a little bit more about Dropbox, go to this video to check it out. First, you'll need to log into the student's Dropbox account at dropbox.com. You'll use the equipment number from the back of the device for the Apple account or ID and use the format and password listed on this page. Then locate your student's vocabulary, select the three dots next to it, and select download. If there is nothing in the Dropbox account yet, ask your AAC consultant for help. Once it downloads, it'll appear in the bottom corner of your screen. Select the V next to the vocabulary and select show in folder. Now let's move it to a spot where we can find it. Right-click the vocabulary and select Cut. Now you're going to go to your desktop and select the Chat Editor Import Folder. Once you're in the Chat Editor Folder, right-click and select Paste. Now your file will be accessible to Chat Editor. Once your file disappears from the Chat Editor import folder, it's time to open Chat Editor. Select Touch Chat as the configuration. Select Library and then select My Resources. Locate your student's vocabulary in the list and then select Open. Now the vocabulary is ready for use.
you might notice that the buttons aren't talking. Let's fix that. If you have an iPad with Touch Chat or a Nova Chat device, plug your charging cord into the device and plug the USB end of the cord into your computer. A dialog box will pop up on your iPad or Nova Chat device. Select Allow. The buttons should now talk when you activate them. Then you can unplug your iPad from the computer. You like it? You like it? Good luck and don't forget to contact your consultant if you run into trouble. See you soon.